In huge news to start 2021 with, Tata Motors has announced it will resurrect the iconic Safari nameplate with its upcoming flagship SUV. The seven-seat SUV will be launched as the new Tata Safari and will arrive in showrooms in the coming weeks. In this video, we'll tell you what you can expect from the latest avatar of the Safari. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be among the first to view all of our latest videos. The Safari name was first introduced all the way back in 1998, but the latest model to spot the badge has been known by a whole host of names over its evolution. Internally known as the H7X, Tata's new seven-seat SUV made its global debut at the Geneva Motor Show in 2019 as the Buzzard. The carmaker then showcased the SUV at the Auto Expo 2020 as the Gravitas. However, Tata says this new SUV was originally conceived as the new Safari and has a few subtle elements that are a nod to the original, including an imposing face, a stepped roof and stadium seating. Tata has also promised the new Safari will be a proper seven-seater and will not, and I quote, have an apology third row of seats. The new Safari will arrive in showrooms in January itself and bookings for it will also commence later this month. The new Safari can be thought of as a seven-seat Harrier, but there's actually quite a bit that distinguishes the two. Both SUVs are similar up front, but the seven-seater sports a completely different and more upright tail section. The Safari is also 63mm longer than the Harrier, as well as 80mm taller, which are essential to free up room for a third row of seats. To provide greater visual distinction between the two, Tata Motors is expected to offer new color options as well as new wheel designs for the Safari. As for powertrains, the new Safari will borrow the 170 horsepower 2 liter Cryotech turbo diesel engine from the Harrier, as well as its 6 speed manual and 6 speed torque converter automatic gearbox options. The original Safari featured a 4x4 system, and that's something the new one won't have, at least at the time of launch. However, a 4x4 version of the new Safari is not off the table. The Land Rover-derived Omega architecture, which the new Tata Safari is based on, is designed to incorporate a four-wheel drive system and even electrification solutions. Tata insiders have hinted that a 4x4 version is a possibility if there is sufficient demand. Sitting at the top of Tata Motors' passenger vehicle lineup, the new Safari will cost a fair bit more than the Harrier, which is priced from Rs. 13,84,000 to Rs. 20,30,000. When it is launched in the coming weeks, the new Tata Safari will face competition from other seven-seat models, such as the MG Hector Plus and the current-gen Mahindra XUV 500. Later in the year, it will also have to battle the new Mahindra XUV 500, as well as Hyundai's new seven-seat Creta-based SUV. So what do you think of Tata's decision to launch the Gravitas as the new Safari? Do you think it does justice to the Safari nameplate? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family.